My name is Mickey Billy. I was born on the 8th of May, 1926, on the Fair Green in Westport, a home birth. I'm one of a family of nine, five girls and four boys. And I'm the last of the boys. Two of my sisters have passed on Della Berry, she was married to a man in Ballina, and they have family in Ballina. And another sister, Kathleen, the oldest sister, she married, she went off to war work in England to Surrey. Uh, the town doesn't come to mind now. And she met this chap who was a retired British soldier who had been part of the invasion of Brittany in the war in 1945, I think. And he suffered some injuries and he was hospitalised and he recovered to take up normal way of living, whatever his trade and profession was. I wasn't interested and I never found out. But uh, the injuries that he received, uh, in actual fact, I think he was at the evacuation of Dunkirk and that he went in in the second day of the invasion of France. That was his uh, life with the British Army. And of course he was one of the British men, or the English men, who joined up during the war to defend their country. He wasn't a soldier by trade. Yeah. One of the soldiers who went in, uh, in the invasion of France, I think he was in the second day, and the invasion of France. And incidentally on that, there was a Westport man who was involved in the invasion of France on the second day. His name was Eamon Kerrigan. He was the tailor's son who lived on the Fairbreen Westport. And uh, the tailoring business during the war, when it was like a, a balloon that had lost all his wind. There was nothing happening. And Emma went off to England to find man. He was six foot two, six foot three. And he joined uh, the Irish Guards. And uh, he did his stint in front of Buckingham Palace in the century box. And in the fullness of time, when the invasion took place, he went off to uh, France with the rest of his comrades and he came home from the war safe and well, safe and well. And there is another lovely story told. It is a lovely story, and I think it bears repeating. And there was a young, well, she was not a young lady, she was fairly well on, living on James Street, who shall be anonymous for the purpose of the story. But herself and fresh water and clean water were total strangers. And the pong of the B.O. when you be passing, or when she pass you, <coughs> you'd be short of breath. But it so happened that Eamon came along the street, and this lady put her arms round Eamon and said, The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, brought him home, safe from the war, and he should do the nine Fridays, and go to the Sacred Heart Satanity and join the Pioneer Total Lapses Association and do hours of adoration for bringing him home safe from the war. And Yemen was gagging anyhow, but he couldn't get out of her embrace. So finally, he got away from her and he got up as far as the cinema on James Street and the seven year each was shown. And there was Marilyn Monroe flashing her little bit of nigger. And he looked up the little bit of knicker and he looked down the street. Oh my God, he says, in heaven with that lady down there or in hell with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I think he says, I go with Monroe. 